Hello everyone, I'm Mega G Wolf and welcome to Project Lazarus. Uh, you know how on the beautiful Mystic Survivors video, I jokingly said that I'm going to become the number one vampire survivor inspired video game review channel. Uh, obviously joking, but at the same time, there are a lot of these types of games I kind of like. And this is just one of them that was recommended to me uh, as a result of me showing off the previously mentioned title. And uh, this is actually pretty good, though it is a little bit different starting off. It's a little slower and it runs a little bit differently, which I'm actually very okay with. I like the way this one does things. That being said, I might have to give you a little heads up on some things. So. Whereas in Vampire Survivors and previous games like that, you would level up your character's abilities, right? In this, you actually level up the pickups that you get from leveling up. So the machine gun, for example, right now is level six. It means that if the mech starts with a machine gun, it's already going to be level six. And if we pick up one on the field, it's going to start at level six. And that's very important to know going forward that some of these add-ons I have powered up already. So if I pick up an item on the field as I go, it's actually going to be already leveled a bit, but they can go beyond what you see here. Just as a heads up, Machine Gun, for example, uh, has seven levels here, but I'm pretty sure it can go up to level 12 while in the game. So just to preemptively warn you that there might be some confusion going in if you see some stuff and you're like why is that so powerful already <laughs> as you can see we control mechs in this one and uh they, they all range from different speeds sizes types even types of gameplay for example the usual mechs we see here all use the analog stick to move around except the dozer requires you to actually use r2 to move around and uh is basically tank control <laughs> and each of these can equip any of the main primary weapons, which I believe there are six of them. Uh, no, there are only five. Machine gun, flamethrower, shotgun, pulse rifle, and the flat cannon. Uh, and they all have their own separate upgrade slot types because there are three different types of, uh, or maybe four, I think four, yeah. Four different types of pickups you can get during this. And depending on the amount of slots you have, will depend on, you know, what kind of build you're gonna have. So there's quite a lot to think about here. I'm gonna start with the basic boy and the machine gun. And we're gonna just go onto the grass lands. This is a twin stick shooter style game. So you are controlling where you're firing the mech. It's not like uh, hands off as, uh, as hands off as like vampire survivors or anything like that. You are in fact aiming where these are going with a secondary stick. So it's a little bit more involved. 40. Um, and you're just surviving the waves of enemies as you usually would, picking up the crystals to level and try and survive as long as possible. So here is the upgrade, right? So we've got our uh, Dreadnought weapons, which are our top slots there in the red box. We have our expansions, which are the middle. We've only got three of those. And we also have our secondary weapons, which are the two there, as well as a primary set underneath. So we can have uh, two secondaries, three expansions, two Dreadnoughts, and then two primary weapons. I'm going to go for the expansion to the rate of fire because we're going to go machine gun. And I like... I can tell you from experience that this machine gun is nowhere near this fast to start off with. In fact, your very first run of this game, I'd be very surprised if you make it past like 10 minutes, honestly. <laughs> because it is, it is very difficult to start off with. Everything's very slow and you have to get some upgrades. Uh, I'm gonna get, you know what? Yeah, I will get the damage up because I think having some extra oomph is going to be useful for the late game. Uh, thankfully, I have got quite a few upgrades and I can get pretty far in these levels. Uh, this isn't actually what I would usually start with, mind you. I would usually get a flamethrower nowadays because that seems to be my preferred weapon, my preferred primary weapon. But I uh, thought I'd go with what you would start with in general. I mean, technically, you can start with any of them. Like, you can have any of the primary weapons and level them up and just start with a nice, powerful, like, flamethrower, for example. They all have their own ups and downs uh for example the flamethrower is very powerful very high rate of fire in terms of like damage 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 but the reload time is so long we'll get a tesla coil i've leveled up the tesla coil quite a lot 
This is a single shot. It will just pew, and it just destroy an enemy when it can. Uh, it does it multiple times. And as you can see in the bottom, uh, the machine gun has a little yellow bar, which is slowly going down. I'm sorry if it's like really small on the HUD for you. But that basically means this is how long it's going to take before it needs to reload. And then it reloads and then we can go again. Certain weapons have way higher reload speeds. There are expansions which allow you to uh, reduce the amount of time it takes to reload. So there is, there is a nice chunk to think about. This one is definitely one of the more complex ones out there that you have to start thinking about, okay, what do I want to build? What kind of things am I looking for? Especially since, you know, all the levels have various different uh, enemy types and things that can happen. I'll get the Cerberus. That's a, an interesting weapon. <laughs> As you can see, it like shoots up things from the ground. And the nice thing is you can actually double up on these weapons. So if I get another primary machine gun, I can put it on the other arm and I'll get two primary machine guns which i can level up both they do level up individually so it is a case of like it's good to try and spend your credits to level up the weapons that you actually want to use that way you don't have to find them as much on the field to be able to make really good use of these okay so there we go we'll, we'll put in the machine gun on the empty slot now i could put it on the current machine gun we have and level that up once but we're going to do this because this not only gives us, you know, extra coverage, this is also another level seven machine gun. So that's like instantly a huge upgrade to what we had before. <laughs> way more coverage, way more damage. We are mowing down these things. And that is basically the, the general game loop. That is what you're going to be doing for a majority of this is similar to other survival games. You're going to be trying to survive um, and get to the end of the level. There are five stages, I think, currently. Hmm. So another thing you can get are perks. Perks can be permanent, as this one is, for example. Permanently increases weapon damage by two. There are some perks which are timed, but they'll give you huge buffs. For example, one of them is like health regen for three minutes. Like being able to walk really fast for three minutes. Stuff like that. But yeah, there are five levels. As you saw, all of the mechs, I think there was like 12 mechs you can be. Now, it is important that you, if you do decide to get this, one, it's in early access, which of course. <laughs> uh, and two, you would play the experimental build because the experimental build is the one that has uh, all the extra mechs in it, I believe. Um... And I don't see any reason not to at this point. So if you want to, like, see what's up with some of the new stuff. Ooh, do I want... I, I think more movement speed might be good, actually. There we go. So now I am full up on expansions. And it's going to, similar to other games of this type, only now give me upgrades to expansions I already have. So I think it is pretty smart to try and fill out these these weapon slots and that way you can like focus on the ones that you want <laughs> i've got an interesting thing here where the little blades coming up from the bottom now alternate which is actually pretty cool i like the idea that like stacking up on these weapons actually like changes the way they look and act so here's another perk similar to the radius stuff that you can get in other games of the type this one is a super magnet. So for a minute and a half, I'm going to have really big range on picking up these crystals, which is quite useful early on, considering, you know, <laughs> there is uh, you need all the upgrades you can get, because if you don't start kind of snowballing your power, you're going to start running into some trouble. But every mech plays differently, has different strengths and weaknesses one of my favorite mechs which actually has uh extra experience gain per crystal can have four primary weapons so you can have like four machine guns or you can have four flamethrowers and the problem with that is it can take a while for you to like really power up because obviously you need to get drops in the primary weapons to be able to like get 
uh, upgrades to them. So it can take a while to feel really powerful with that, but you get a lot of coverage, a lot of spread. The only problems I have with the game so far is that you are very big and you can get hit very hard, very quick. Uh, but you kind of get used to playing around with that. Also, the bosses are very uninspired. <laughs> They are very not that interesting and they kind of feel similar to in every level uh, so far anyway. And from what I've been told from someone who has played quite a bit of this. Uh, otherwise, pretty solid little game, pretty solid experience. It's been really fun to see how long I can survive, to see how each mech plays. There's tons of mechs and I haven't got like half of them basically. Uh, and I'm excited to see what else they have to offer. Ah, the super magnet. I've run out. One of the other things that is available on the map, if we actually go out a bit, I've stayed towards the center quite a bit. But if we travel around, uh, we'll also... Here we go, we can travel around even faster now. Uh, we'll also find uh, pods. There we go. And in those pods can be items. For example, this one is uh, Caverium, which is the currency used to upgrade. Now, while you can find some of this on the field, as we just did, a lot of the money you're going to be getting is just from the game tallying up your score at the end of a run and rewarding you as such. It's not actually like the other games where you have to specifically find gold on the field. In this one, you get gold just for completing a run, whether you die or win. And you can just kind of gradually upgrade as is anyway. So, oh god, we're being closed in. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Here's a magnet. Now the magnet doesn't work similar to previous games. As you can see here, there's still some stuff over there. It didn't pick them all up. And that's because uh, the magnet here only works in a small radius. Whereas if you get the EX magnet, I believe, I believe that radius is a lot bigger. Or if it's like map wide, I'm not sure on that actually. I don't know if there's any documentation on that. There's a health kit. I'm going to keep that around. I don't know if pickups disappear. I could swear that I've had the EX magnet disappear before, but I, I don't know how valid that claim is. <laughs> so don't quote me on that one. I also really like the music. It goes from like, you know, some, some chill vibes, which is actually pretty cool. You can unlock the music, but I'm not exactly sure what that does. <laughs> Because it's like, you've unlocked the music. And I'm like, great. Where do I... Can I change it? Like, do I... It, nope. I have no clue. It might be that, like, when you win, <laughs> it might it might do that. I haven't actually had a winning run. A lot of my comments on the bosses have been from me getting to the bosses and experiencing them and not actually winning. <laughs> and again, from my, uh, my source... But so far, this has been this has been a really enjoyable one. Definitely more creative, and uh, I like the aesthetic. I like the mech stuff. It's actually pretty cool. I had some really neat ideas for being able to upgrade your weapons, and especially making the characters feel different. Because obviously, one of the big things about Vampire Survivors and their characters is other than starting weapon, a majority of the characters are really just aesthetic choices and then some things that are like a bit better at doing other things, right? In Vampire Survivors, you have like the grinding character, you have the character that's good at gaining a certain amount of power per level, stuff like that. But in general, you're, you're mainly picking it for the starting weapon and then whatever perk happens to be the one that you're going for. Where in this, it's nice because you can essentially get all the weapons that you want to start with, with any mech. Um, but it's about how much you'll be able to stack that. All right, we get two coils. Yeah! Look at me go! Mowing them down. I've not actually seen the machine gun this powerful yet, so... This is kind of exciting. Brrrr. And I am absolutely destroying this wave. This is the wave that actually killed me the very first time I played this, because there's so many of them. There's so many, and you, you like... The machine gun's rate of fire at the start is god-awful. Ooh, Cosmic Guardian? Yeah, I think I'll have that. 
This is similar to how the Bible works. Except there's no cooldown. It just spins. That's it. It just goes. It's actually very cool. Um, another example of getting multiple weapons affecting the way they work. If you were to get another one and put it in another slot, it would actually be another ring outside. So it basically make the, the radius like bigger. Right. Okay. So I don't like these. I actually have some rerolls and some skips. I'm going to reroll and see if I get a better choice. Ooh. Yeah. We'll upgrade one of the Tesla coils because I would like to see what those are like leveled up. I mean, it's already powerful and I assume it's just going to allow the thing to, to shoot more times with more power before it has to reload, which is going to be really useful, especially later on when things start to get a little bit, a little bit dicey. I just love the way that the weapons all like go onto your mech and make it change how it looks. It's really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the late game mechs too. The ones that cost like a couple thousand of this upgrade stuff. I wouldn't mind another orbital thing, to be quite honest. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. If you want to grind the money, so far the second map has been the best one because there's lots of on-the-field money for that one, actually. So you can pretty much guarantee yourself to get a nice chunk of the cash if you were to just go into that and quickly run into the area where there's a lot on the field. And that'll allow you to get a bit of a... You can't go there right away. I think you have to survive 16 minutes on a level to be able to get to the next one and i don't think i've actually tried to do that oh here's something here we here we go so all of the mechs have armor points right like plating armor plating and each of them have a maximum amount of armor plating that can uh be applied to them for example this one i think is 45 and depending on the percentage as you can see above where it says 30 in my HUD, where the armor points are, uh, is how much damage reduction, basically. So, right now, it's just like 30 extra health. But if you have more armor points, basically, it acts more defensively. And certain mechs have higher armor rating with default starting, like, armor defense percentage one of the mechs actually has it so that if you run over small enemies, you gain armor back. So it's kind of like a risk and reward thing. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, do I want the drone pods? No, not right now. Congratulations. I either want another one of the spinning things or if I get the dreadnought cannon, like the big cannon thing again, I might take it this time uh, because it's, it's like it's calling to me. We're in, we're in the calm before the storm right now. We're about 12 minutes in. We're about to get a lot of stuff spawning in. A lot of big things. And we're going to start really seeing it ramp up around. Especially if we survive to like the 19 minute mark. That's when stuff really, really comes out. There we go. The music's kind of ramped up a bit to... Be like, oh, get ready. Here they come. I also like that I'm starting to see more 3D type survivor games. There's so many now. Like, I looked on the new, newly released things on Steam the other day, and I could have sworn I saw like two Vampire Survivor likes coming out. And. What's nice is people are, one, reviewing them pretty fairly, obviously with uh, Vampire Survivors in mind, because obviously we're going to have to compare it to that, because that's what we're kind of going for. Oh my god, look at the rapid fire of that! <laughs> um, and, you know, a lot of them are reasonably priced. Even this one is still, like, four pounds, which is really cheap for a quite nicely made version of, uh, of this type of game. I'm very impressed with just how much 
then again, you know, I say that. For all I know, this could be all kinds of asset flips, and I don't know. But I, I'd like to imagine that it's not, but we, well, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm very happy with how it's set out nonetheless, you know? <laughs> Ooh, okay, there's a red one there. I don't actually know if the red ones are because I destroyed an elite enemy or if it's because... I don't know if this does the thing where it, like, compacts the crystals together. After you've gone gotten enough of them on screen to, like, reduce lag or something. I haven't had much experience with lag in this game. I started having experienced lag with, like, beautiful Mystic Survivors when there's a lot of enemies on screen. Like, it did start to lag then. But this one... Right now, at least, I'm still running at 144 hertz, so we're, we're still seeing a nice frame rate from this. Of course, mileage may vary on computer specs. <laughs> um, you know, I have a 3080 Ti in my computer, so... But this seems to be running pretty well, regardless. And I mean, that's something, right? If, if Mystic Survivors is, is lagging when there's a lot of stuff going on, I guess it's still fair game to comment on if this one is keeping up. Oh, even more improved frame uh, fire rate. Let's go. Brrr, it's like a like a stream of bullets. Oh, a bit of calm now. We've got a bit of calm before the storm. Actually, the second level has a moment like that where it's like, I swear there's like a good solid minute where nothing happens. Early access, though. Could be could be tweaking it as we speak, you know? So who knows? If this isn't something that's up your alley right away, it might be definitely... Might be definitely. That was... Okay, good, good English, me. But it's definitely something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on to see what they do with because I really like what they've got so far, and they seem to update it quite regularly. Oh, what we got here? Ooh, I think this is the crit thing, right? 100% critical. Probably should have saved that for when there was a lot of dudes coming in, but you know what? Whatever. I'm dealing like 43 damage per hit. Damn. Let's actually explore around, see if we can find one of those uh, EX magnets. I think there's one on the right side. I'm not actually sure if the pods stay the same per run, which would actually be pretty cool if they did, because then you could like plan out the best times to go into a certain area of the map. Because unlike Vampire Survivors and the like, uh, this is a enclosed like arena. So you can't go right infinitely. You will hit a wall. Stuff like that. So you can uh, probably plan it out if you know where certain things are, if they are consistent. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade. So now they're... Brrr, oh my god, look at all the firepower. Let's go. We've actually got quite a lot of on the field, like... On the field money. Like, getting 1,000 credits just from, like being on the field is actually pretty good. Okay, so here's the EX one. I don't know if this is full up. Oh, XT, sorry. I don't know it's, if it's full map wide. I guess we'll see if we like start seeing some green ones come in from the left. Or if it's just like... Oh, maybe it's not... Um, okay, it's definitely not map wide. But what it might do is it might linger, right? Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> Is it because I'm coming over here and it's still active or is it, yeah, is it just like traveling? I don't know. Feel my power. Okay, we're gonna, oh no, I should have got the siege cannon, damn. Oh well. I mean, general power upgrade is still pretty good too. But I said I was gonna get the siege cannon one just so you could like see some of these different, I, so, other ones that I don't get, I still haven't really grasped how good they are yet. But like the dr the drones and the auto turrets. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I said if, there, if we saw another one, we'd get it. So there you go. Now you can see that there's two spinning things around me. 
I think it was probably the best choice because I don't have the siege cannons upgraded any. So it would have been a level one. Maybe a level two if I, I might have I might have put one point in, but so yeah, now we're starting to see quite a lot of enemies come after me. But in general, we are we are managing to keep them. <laughs> we're managing to keep them busy. This one little guy is coming in. He's real powerful. Look at him go. He's taking so many shots. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So 19 minutes in is when we start seeing some big enemies. Not like big as in like size wise, but you're going to start seeing them be a little tougher to defeat. Now, I've not used the machine gun in a while. So hopefully these will uh, be more than adequate to take them out especially since they are shooting very quickly. My big complaint, honestly, in terms of like feel, right? It feels like there is not enough draw to these crystals. <laughs> there is an upgrade, an exp expansion you can get to the crystal like magnet, essentially. Well, it, they call it gravity in this, right? So each mech has its own gravity, which is the range in which it picks up these crystals. And, and this one's like basic. The gravity is not very high. So that might just be maybe I pick a different mech and try that out. But uh, <laughs> but you can get the, the perk that I got earlier, which gave me a temporary like big magnet. Uh, you can also get like a, a general magnet thing. Uh, I think I'll get general upgrades on weapon damage right now. Whoa, here we go. Here comes the big stuff. Big old waves of enemies. Yes, level 11. I think level 12 is the highest you can get the primary weapons. So that's pretty exciting, actually, that we're getting so close to that. Ooh! Uh, yeah. So in that one, I got a supply pack, which is just an instant level. It's just a just a straight up level. Sir, I am detecting multiple signatures. Oh, here we go. It's the big boys. They look like Murlocs. All right, level 12 machine gun. I don't know what that really entails. Yeah, I can't level it up anymore. So my primary weapons are now maximum. Perish! Uh, let's increase the rate of fire even more because that's what we need, right? <laughs> oh god, I thought he was defeated. Oh god, he's powerful. Oh no, there he goes. Oh, oh my word! Level up the power even more! Increase our speed some. There we go. Things are getting a little bit tight here. Just gotta thin out, thin out these enemies a bit. Even more rate of fire. And I assume that it also affects things like the dreadnought slots as well, right? I think they do. See, this kind of moment would be best for the XT magnet because then I'd be able to suck all this big experience in. <laughs> Give me some maneuverability. Got to try and pick up all the red experience. Yes, give me more power on that. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion, Staff Sergeant. Yeah, we've been promoted. More upgrades. Give me the goods. Ooh! -hoo. Things are getting spicy. Warning. Structural integrity critical. Okay, so that warning was that my armor is low. The voice warns you when the armor is low and when your health is low. 
Now this particular mech I have has a thing where if my life goes down to zero, it will place a shield on me and heal me 50 health. So I don't have to worry too much right now about this one life I've got. But I don't really want that to happen right away. Warning. Ugh. Class three enemies detected. Oh, class three enemy. That is uh, the big boy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, goodness. Okay, I want to go over there and get this red. Okay. Whoa. I do think that it takes a while to ramp up to this kind of level. It could just be that, like, I have weapons enough to deal with the waves that actually start to swarm you a bit, and that could be the case. But it does feel like it's like now, you know, now the shit is going down, and we're 22 minutes in. Wow, I am just, like, keeping him back because of this not this rate of fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, perish! Such a tanky thing. He's, he's a bullet sponge. I'm only dealing five per shot. I don't know how much health it has. I don't know if there's like a weapon or something that, that is better suited to getting this guy down. Ooh. Anytime you hear a heartbeat, that's me being hit for health damage. Because <laughs> essentially, if I remember right, like, I'm not like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! Gonna move fast. Get me out of there. God, he deals so much damage. But that was hopefully gonna be worth it, because that's gonna, like, give me a lot of experience coming towards me. All right, let's, uh... Let's give myself a bit more armor. It's a temporary buff, but it might help in this time of need. <laughs> Got these fast now. I don't know if that was worth it. I do not know if that was worth it. I mean, I think I would have got hit anyway, but... Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Let's head towards the health. I can still fire on them while I'm really far away because this game does not really despawn enemies out of out of line of sight, I think. Is he still coming towards me? <laughs> I don't know. Health. Oh, he's still there. Okay. But now he's away from everything else. I can focus fire on him a bit. Are we good? Can you die now? That would be cool. I would like you to perish. <laughs> perish, please. Come on. Come on, fella. Go down. Stop resisting. Ooh, okay. Um... I'll just get another level into that, because I don't think... Obviously, I can't level up my uh, power or machine guns anymore. I think it's just about being aggressive. Keeping on the pressure. I say that, but I might be missing something very obvious that, I don't, that I'm not thinking about. <laughs> He's just, he's just walking in place. Look at him go. He really wants to get me. But he's just standing there. He's stuck. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, I'm reloading now. Oh, wow. Reload really quickly. <laughs> I guess that's one of the benefits of fully upgrading these things. Is they upgrades or uh, reloads really quickly. Actually able to defeat you, fella? This is my life now. Here he comes. 
He's coming. Hey, look at him go. He, oh, he's moving. He's going the other way. Come on, fella. I believe in you. I don't think a lot of other people do right now, but I do. You can make it. You just got to believe. Believe in yourself. And your ability to walk. You have the power to stop this. You just got to make it to me. Man, I wish I had something that like... There we go. <laughs> Is that it? Warning. Outstanding mission success, sir. Mission accomplished. Did it tell me warning mission success? <laughs> warning! Well done. <laughs> Yo! Hyper mode. Oh, ooh, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were going to have, like, hyper modes. Well, well, well. Well, that took a lot longer than I was expecting, and I wasn't expecting to win. So there you go. There you go. So now I have all this money I can use to spend on all kinds of upgrades and stuff. And now we also have hyper mode. I haven't unlocked the other track. I wonder if it's because I need to do hyper mode. Okay, what is hyper mode? Whoa. Okay. Is hyper mode just like super fast like it is in Vampire Survivors? 50. Welcome to the vast Does not feel any different. Five. Your mission objective is the elimination of a local monster known as Ursa. Okay, it doesn't three monster with an immense doesn't feel any different. It's unlikely that us hmm. will attack Weird. Us immediately. It's not sure. HQ. Though it is interesting that the final boss of the level comes at you at 22 minutes and not 30. Either way, that is Project Lazarus. Very fun. Interesting. I like it. It's definitely got a little bit more going for it than some of the other ones we've played so far. But pretty damn cool. Check it out. Link in the description uh, in early access. So maybe you want to follow it and see where it goes. But otherwise, thank you for watching. If you want to see more Vampire Survivors likes... Uh, there'll be two linked in the end slate here, although one of them will probably be Vampire Survivors itself. So <laughs> thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye.